update. Okay, so not a lot has changed in my system, but I thought I would go ahead and do a little update because some things are going to change. So in my passport, my project pages are still working fine. Nothing's changed there. Nothing has changed in my uh, monthly setup. Then we come over here to this guy. Okay, so lately I have been using this as my tracker for my one big meal of the day. So instead of going ahead and putting in tasks for the day, since I'm using that in here, I've been planning one big meal of the day. My boyfriend works for most of the week, but when he doesn't, we tend to have a one big lunch for the day instead of dinner. But on days that he has to work, we end up going with, you know, one big dinner for the day. And so it's just easier for me to go ahead and plan one big meal for the day than it is to try to do three meals since not everyone's here at the same time. And it's been working out really well. I've also been tracking how much meat I've been eating down here at the bottom for the week and yeah, no problems there. I stopped tracking over here because again, I'm doing that in this insert. Okay, so in here, I've changed a couple of things. Let's see, all right, so this was last week's and I mean, everything pretty much stayed the same from last week. I drew in some doodles here because I've been watching a lot of bullet journaling. Um, I have never been a fan of the dot grid. I own one dot grid notebook and it's this one by um, Moleskine and I bought this probably a year ago on Target. It was on clearance and I hated it because <laughs> I don't know writing in dot grid is just not who I am. I tried really hard and I hated it so I ended up changing this into my um, health journal because it was a lot of calculating calories and writing in weights and measurements. So there wasn't a lot of actual writing in here. So I was okay with that. And so I found this beautiful insert that I'm in love with by pencil or pen. I was a little bummed that it only came in the dot grid. I thought, crap, what am I going to do? But since I'm not actually writing in it, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, last week, I didn't do any writing in it. The week before, the first week I started it, I tried to do some journaling just to see how it would how it would go if I journaled in between the weeks, and I hated it, so I stopped doing that. So for this week, I ended up watching some videos and trying out a very simplistic layout because, you know, I'm not going to do a lot of work. I'm a lazy planner. <laughs> And I found that these banners were okay. They didn't take a lot of time to do. However, you know, being a noob, I had a few mistakes. Like this one, I made a little bit wider than the rest. And that's just because I was watching TV while I was doing it and I wasn't paying attention. So I wrote weekend in there to try to, to make it less obvious that it was so much larger. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, over here, I, I actually found a lettering system that I thought was very simplistic. Um, it didn't take a lot of effort. You didn't need any real skill <laughs> to do. And um, I don't mind it, and especially since you're only going to be using it for headers. I was like, okay, I can do this. Um, so I did put a watching list and a, a brain dump over here. The watching list I will not be doing again. I think that that is more of a monthly thing than a weekly thing. Some of these things, most of them, I'm still watching throughout the month. Um, Van Helsing I'm no longer watching because um, it's not back yet and I hadn't seen the first season. So we finished the first season. Loved it, by the way. Totally recommend on Netflix. Um, so I think a watching list is more like a monthly uh, goal or task or, you know, I don't know, collection than a weekly collection. So um, the brain dump worked out just fine for the week. I didn't mind that at all. However, um, I left a lot of extra space because I wasn't sure how much space I would need. So um, I think I might just go back and go ahead and do some more like little um, banners and things, draw them in here just for practice to see how that goes because I have the space. And there's so much space in here that I really don't feel like I need to track anything else for the week. I don't know. Maybe I'm leaving things out, but um, we'll see. I'm not really a week a weekly planner girl. I haven't been in a while, so um, we'll have to figure that out. And then this week, 
is basically the same as the last week um, because I like that system. It's working really well for me. I have my sister's schedule and some of the kids' things scheduled here. None of this is mine. Um, if I need to look at my writing schedule, I just go ahead and pull this out and it's um, right here in the tip in and then over here I have my monthly goals which you've seen before and this is working out great I like that I broke them down into categories I'm just you know tracking some personal things up there and also on the side here if you need more tracking space you can just you know do what I'm doing here and track things there um, so this system works out really well I'm telling you I'm I'm in love with this little insert I think it's the perfect combination of a, a printed layout and a non-printed layout because you can mix and match bullet journaling with traveler's notebook um, printables so that makes me really really happy um, you can see here that for this week I tried out another layout I'm not gonna lie this took me about 20 minutes and I thought oh my gosh 20 minutes are you serious but um, in hindsight, it took me 20 minutes out of the week. I don't have to do it every single day. So um, that made me feel a little bit better. And I know that once I get used to drawing these out without freaking out that I'm going to mess it up. Because I like to try to draw out in pen. And that just leaves a lot of room for, you know, mistakes. <laughs> um, it'll get easier the more I practice them. So... I like that I used a bunch of different colors, whereas, you know, if you just go straight with a black, it's kind of, you know, dull. Um, and of course, when you have to switch pens, that's going to take some time too. So, I don't know. I like it. What do you guys think? I, I cannot believe that I'm bullet journaling. That to me is just like the craziest thing because I've always said, you know, I'm a lazy planner. I don't want to draw it in. I want the work done for me. But I've found more and more that I can't find a layout or an insert that just fits me exactly. Um, they're always almost what I want. So again, this is a perfect combination. Um, I don't mean that for this to be a weekly uh, layout because this is already a weekly layout, but um, these are just daily tasks. And so I kind of wanted to keep it pretty even because you're, you're drawing in little banners. If you move one banner down a little bit more because one day needs more space it's pretty obvious that they're uneven and for some reason like my OCD won't allow me to do that um right now my days are pretty even as far as tasks are concerned so it's not an issue but I know that at some point I might have a week where I need to do um dailies on two pages because some days are going to be heavier than others and I'm just gonna have to deal with that when that happens um unfortunately I, I went ahead and drew this out so if there were a day where um I had more tasks I guess I could move it over to the side here because you can see this side is pretty empty I didn't have a lot of brain dumping for the week I just covered up a few things that I put already because they're personal um but I think that a brain dump mostly is like a monthly thing where I just sit down and I do a whole brain dump for the month that seems to work best for me but again there's not um really I guess here would be a good place to do that um on the back of this monthly tracker but I already had written you know my grocery list out here and research here which could have gone on this page but at the time you know I wasn't really thinking about it so I guess if I did a brain dump if I could fit it all on one section, I would do it here. That way I would have it for the whole month to look at and then just, you know, um, migrate these to um, whatever week they were for. So, I mean, that's something to be thinking about in the future. Um, yeah, so this is really working out. I can't believe I'm bullet journaling. Um, I can't believe that I'm actually using dot grid and being really happy about it. Again, it's not, I'm not writing out um, journaling or anything like that. So it's not bothering me to use the dot grid. I find that the dot grid is just right, unlike lined or the dot square, the dot square, or the square grid. Um, they seem to be a little more intrusive when you're trying to draw out things, whereas this is just enough because I can't draw on blank paper. I mean, I just cannot draw a straight line to save my life, even with a ruler on, on blank paper because it's always slightly crooked. I mean, I'm just so impatient and lazy that I don't want to line up the ruler to make sure that everything's perfectly straight. And so now that you have this like dot grid, um, you can just line it up against that and always know that it's perfect. And I really 
love that. And so, oh my gosh, dot grit, right? So having said that, let's get to the topic at hand, the trouble with traveler's notebooks. Oh my Lord, the trouble. Here's the thing. I have decided to give traveler's notebooks a break. I know, I know. I can't even believe that I'm saying this. I have been using a traveler's notebook for about four years now. And when I found the system, I thought, oh my gosh, this is what I've been missing in life. Um, I was coming from just really large mead notebooks and, um, you know, planners that were ring bound that I thought, you know, this is a system that works the best. It's the best system that I can find. And I was blown away by a traveler's notebook. I thought, wow, the fact that you could have, you know, like three journals in one, three separate journals, and just, you know, take out a section and put in a section whenever you needed it was the most amazing thing that I had ever heard of. However, um, after four years, it's starting to weigh down on me. And um, I found that as kind of a planner addict <laughs> and a supply and stationary addict, I cannot handle the traveler's notebook anymore. I just cannot stop buying shit for this and I cannot stop customizing it. I mean, this is the most customizable notebook I've ever owned. And I get, you know, halfway through an insert and I'm already thinking about the next insert and what I can do with it. And I want to take this out and it's not even finished. And I'm just having a lot of struggles with, you know, sticking to an insert or a system. I keep switching it up. I mean, I found this system and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. But by the time I found this, I was already thinking of trying out something else and taking a break. And unfortunately for me, I feel like this is just all the planning I've ever needed more than everything that's in here. Um, you still need a separate writing notebook, which is still a struggle that I need to figure out personally. Um, but I just decided that I wanted to go ahead and switch up my system and possibly go back just to notebooks. Um, and then I found this and it kind of helped me decide that that was the right decision for me because I can go ahead and bullet journal. Who the hell knew? I've been watching a lot of bullet journal videos showing, um, the fact that you can be as minimalistic or as, you know, complex as you want to be in your bullet journal. And I've had people on this channel absolutely comment that, you know, bullet journaling is not that difficult. It is, again, as simplistic or as complex as you want to make it. And so I thought, you know, I would try that out. You know, I like that you guys tell me, come on, you can do this. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this insert for the month of September. And then that's what's so great about this little insert. Um, I because it's undated, I can go ahead and leave it alone for a while and come back to it later. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, um, Sylvia, why don't you just bullet journal in a traveler's notebook? I mean, you can just get um, grid, just completely blank like this, and insert. And, you know, bullet journal till your little heart's content. I understand that. And I would absolutely try that. Except, again, I can't leave the system alone. I can't leave it alone. I probably would end up making that insert and then taking it out and changing it for something else. I need something that's not as customizable as a traveler's notebook for a while. I need to get back to just simplicity. And so I think that going back to a notebook that I can't change the printed layout to um, is going to help me because I just have no choice but to work with it. Um, when you're in a notebook, you can certainly add tippins, which I, I'm not against adding in tippins or anything, especially since I have some, um, you know, like these tippins have been an amazing dream and I love them. But I just really, really need to stop um, messing around with my system and and I feel like I'm just busy as opposed to productive and I really need to be more productive. So there's actually one quarter left in the year. So um, I've had people ask in the past, younger people, um, so if you don't know what a quarter is, it's where you take the 12 months of the year and you break it down into four sections and each section gets three months. So there's one quarter left in the year, which is October, November, and December. So I am going to give bullet journaling a go for one quarter and see how that goes goes and I'm going to make a um, bunch of videos um, 
showing you how I chose my notebook, the size of notebook and the layout of my notebook and how I came to those decisions. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I, I'm really excited because I feel like it's not overwhelming. And a lot of times as, you know, planner addicts or as people in general, we have to try out systems that are going to lead us to another system. And I wish I could have just started out with bullet journaling because it is so simplistic. It's more simplistic, I feel like, than even this because you're always having to know how to print and cut and, you know, make your own inserts and switch things up and decorate the crap out of all of them. Um, but it, this is just sort of a process I had to go through in order to get to the bullet journal. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how how complex I'm going to make my dailies or how much drawing I'm actually willing to do, but um, I'm interested to find out. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!